Hey guys, it's me Brittany and today's video I will be talking about my survival guide, kind of like how I'm surviving D2 year and if you're interested in that, keep watching the video. Jamie from the Strive to Fit recently featured me on her channel as a day in the life of dental student and I am so 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 proud and so happy to be working to have worked with her and if you all haven't watched that video, please check it out. I'll link it up above here. I'm officially done with half of my second year of dental school, which is the hardest year of school. And I asked on my Instagram if any of you had any questions that you would like me to answer specifically about D2 year. And okay, so let's get started. So, okay, I am Esma says, any tips for lab work? How do you arrange your time to fit in them? And where do you learn from? Any channels do you watch for tutorials on lab work? I've been making dentures too and they are tough work. So I have a really hard time with dentures. Um, I barely passed my denture final which was like really happy for me but at the same time means that I need to do better on my other lab things especially when it comes to removable prosthodontics. Um, but I found that is really helpful is going to the teacher who is grading it if you know who that is and asking them personally for tips because if I'm there setting teeth and it's all wrong then I'm just wasting my time. I'd rather go to the teacher and let him or her tell me like what I should focus on and then do that and then give back to them if that makes sense. Um, I don't watch any YouTube videos. I know some of my classmates do to kind of get an idea of what they should do but if any of you guys are dental students and you have great um, like lab dental lab YouTube recommendations, comment them down below. I'm sure that everyone would love to benefit from them. This next question are like combo questions from Glamorous Lonnie. How far in advance do you start to study for an exam? And how many hours of sleep should dental students get in order to learn all the material and be functional the next day? This is so real for me because I recently had finals week and this was the most brutal finals week that I've ever had. I had six exams. I usually start two weeks before to kind of like familiarize myself with the material just a little bit every day. I like to do a little like every a couple subjects every day. Some people like to just do one subject a day, but I don't really like that. Some people like cramming. I personally really can't do that. In all my years of school, I just can't. Every time I cram, a bad grade comes out. And also the hours of sleep. So funny story really, this week, I think I would end class and my final at 5 p.m. like, the, And then after that, nap for two and a half hours. And then stay up and then sleep for two and a half hours and then have the test. So in total, like I had five hours, but they were split up. And let me tell you, when you do that every single day for a week, it is disgusting. I had like some stomach problems. I had horrible headaches. This is not really like, I would not recommend, but I had to because like I had multiple tests today and I wanted to cover or at least run through um, all the topics before I went to sleep. I was functional. I could think during the test, but again, everybody is different. If you're the type of person that needs to get eight hours of sleep before the test and feel good, then by all means do that. But I'm the type where I have to be able to review everything before I sleep or else I, I just want to feel secure about it. Another question is from Glamorous Lonnie again. Does writing notes out help the information stick more than typing them out? So I have like many different ways I study. Um, I also have a, I'll link up a the video on how I specifically like to study in dental school but in general what I do is in class I'll type the notes and yeah it doesn't stick but at the same time I want to get um, like the majority of what the professor says in class and if I write it down I write too slow to catch up but once I go home I make my flashcards um, I learn it and then when it comes to review time then I write it down slowly and think about it I can't just type uh, write that fast enough during class and I got a lot of questions like from Carrie Benitez and Sour Girl and they asked, how did you survive? I think the best advice I could give any of you who are in your second year or about to go in your second year or anybody in general is that realize that this is part of like the journey. Dental school traditionally like second year is the hardest because I think first year is more like really basic sciences that you've learned and second year is sciences, not sciences, but dental sciences that you have never ever seen for. Just remember that as part of the process, remember that there are students surrounding you that are going going through the same thing. Remember that our students um, that are upperclassmen that they went through the same thing and they survived. Realize that this is only temporary and keep your dreams within focus and you'll realize that 
it's not gonna be that bad like I literally blinked in second year is halfway over and I can't believe it I survived yeah it was kind of rocky but I survived and I'm okay and everything's gonna be okay if you are a dental student in your second year third year fourth year or even first year or even a dentist comment down below any tips or tricks you have to survive like the hardest year of dental school or any hard aspect of dental school and I'm sure a lot of people can benefit from that. If you want to see more content about dental school life, dental school tips, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. We've reached 8,000 subscribers. I'm very, very happy that again, our family is growing. I'm really glad that I can share my dental school experience with you all. Bye.